All right, it's your man, Arlamar, one R, two L's. And, you know, I was just thinking about this, especially, you know, I'm still kind of got a little bit of vacation hangover. So, you know, I was thinking about how wonderful the world is and how beautiful it is. And then I was thinking about this question for you and for myself and for a lot of people who probably, you know, ponder upon different things. But um, wouldn't life be great if you got to do what you love every day? Wouldn't it be great if you got to travel and go all the places that you wanted to go you want to just live life on your terms i think that's what we really strive for is to live life on our terms wouldn't it be wonderful to do that i think so so why don't we do it um there's a vast majority of reasons like subconscious beliefs we have about ourselves but one thing a lot of people say like when it comes to losing weight or when it comes to making more money or finding a better relationship or improving the relationship they're in and the number one answer is well it's just hard I don't know if I can do that because it's hard well isn't not doing it hard isn't not being able to go out and do the things you love and enjoy isn't that a hard life isn't it hard not being able to take those vacations isn't it hard working somewhere spending the vast majority of your life somewhere you don't want to be doing something you don't want to do and then somewhere in the mix you kind of convince yourself that yeah I, it's this this is not that bad i kind of like doing it you've conditioned and convinced yourself to accept a substandard life not saying that whatever you do somebody can't enjoy you know it might be the ideal and perfect place for somebody but deep down in your heart you know I'm telling you you know you I'm talking to you you know you should be doing more this is who our Lamar TV is for and so as I grow I hope to share things with you that help you grow because I'm not where I want to be but I'm learning and I'm striving and I'm growing and that is what's making me happy not the things I'm getting, but the learning part, the journey part. I remember I used to hear that. It's always the journey and it's always the, the, the obstacles and things. And I was like, no, I actually just want the life. No, but once you actually attain something, you realize it was the journey. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the, the byproduct of it and, and the benefit. But the, the real benefit is you became something greater than you were before you had it. So do the uncomfortable, do what's hard, because I'm telling you what's even harder than that, what's even harder than going after the life you want is regretting that you never got to live it. One R, two L's. Trying to keep it short, but I hit the three minute mark on y'all. So peace and love. One R, two L's. This is Hip Hop Empowerment. We're going all the way in 2016.